<laughs> okay, okay, stop, cut, no, we're not doing this. play a game? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have removed all of your fingernails and I have placed them in boxes around this apartment building. Hmm. <laughs> if you don't retrieve all of them and put them back on the right finger, I will systematically remove the hemorrhoids from <laughs> 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 I don't I like don't. this. I don't <laughs> want to play games anymore. Oh, games. I'm so scared. You know what? Game. Games are but my games. hemorrhoids are at stake. Actually, I'd be like, go ahead, remove my hemorrhoids. And there's like right. gaping holes next to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought. <laughs> he removes them with a hole. <laughs> oh, no. I'll systematically remove your hemorrhoids with a hole punch. <laughs> it sounds like it hurts. I'm sorry, man. I'm really just really lonely. Do you want to, like, I don't know, grab a beer sometimes? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty great, one. I mean, it'll be fine because, like, I permanently wear a mask. So, mm. like, you know, it would be cool if you wore your mask, too, because I, I, I look with well, my mom, and she's really high risk. No. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm looking at Let's go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Let's go to Taco Bell. I can stick my whole fish in my mouth. You want to see? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yes. Do you think I can do a Oogie Boogie's voice? Try it. I don't know any of his lines. I'm Oogie Boogie! <laughs> that was a little too. Too what? A little too comfortable. You keep cutting out. What are you doing? It's frustrating. I'm not sure. <laughs> it is frustrating. I want to play. I want to play a game. What game? It's sort of like it's in ladders, but with suit and ladder. Ooh. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds hot. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, um, okay, I'm going to turn this voice changer off. I'm going to... Okay, so... <laughs> You're already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay. I'm going to have to turn this off. It's going to be distracting during the podcast. Yes, it will be distracting. Distracting. Uh. Um. <laughs> okay, one sec. Let me fucking do the thing. Okay, so I think that's better. A little. <laughs> I had to shed a little. Uh, I had to slip into my human skin. Had to shed. Slip into your human skin. Because I'm so damaged. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, this episode is gonna be all about where are you? And I'm so sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> RxD. Ooh, rawr. Lol. Um, yeah, so emo shit. What's oh, so interesting is that all this emo music is coming back. It is. We yeah. buried it, but it's coming back. Um, duh. Dude, I mean, no, only... what song was it? Um... Uh, there's, I have so many songs, Screaming Infidelities, 
taking their wear <laughs> on me right now. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm drowning in my seat. I'm drown. Yeah. Oh my God. So much Man. to talk about. Warp Tour 2005. Let's go. Uh, God. That was a very emo like round of music. It was all about. So come my wrist and bat my ass. So come my wrist and bat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Screamo oh, emo baby. Yeah, Fucking this one goes out to everyone whose mom didn't buy them an Xbox for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, no, it was such an interesting time in history. And I guess like living through it, I didn't realize. Like looking okay, so looking back. You have all these other, like, in the 70s, there's always, like, the dude wearing the leather jacket and, like, shit. Like, there's styles, right? Yeah. For yeah. kids going to high school in certain time periods. And for us, it was really, like, everyone was just, like, borderline emo. Like, everyone, yeah. every dude had, like, a faux hawk. Like, the normal yeah. dude. Then the emo dudes had the flattened black dyed hair kind of thing. And the yeah. eyeliner. And the chucks that were written on them by their friends. And using yeah. permanent marker to black out your fingernails. And getting some lip piercings and your eyebrows. It was a good time. So many lip piercings. And I remember so bad wanting to be that. But we were too poor. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And when I started coloring my fingernails black, mom and dad were like, the fuck are you doing? Your hands are dirty. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. It was Hot crazy. topic was like the, the bangerang. Fucking, you're, you're not kidding. Yeah, like, dog. It, fucking. That was, Ooh. that was the shit. They did have some pretty good shit back then. Dude, whatever. I'm so damaged. <laughs> I'm so fucking damaged. <laughs> Dude, you know, everyone everyone was emo, if you think about it. Like, even in, like, some of the more new metal stuff, like, you know, Papa Roach fucking in. Oh, no, that was definitely, like, the precursor, right? So, like, 90s right, yeah. grunge turned into this, like, weird version of pop. Right. It was And screaming. Bizarre. and It was weird. A weird yeah, time. Yeah. Fucking, I'm running in, I'm crying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, haven't you ever ran and cried before? You're obviously not emo enough. All I can think of is something from the same time, and that is, uh, Grandma's Kisses. Grandma's Kisses, you assholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know wrong. we said it last time. Fucking, <laughs> fucking deal with dude. it. You fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, oh, I think it started to go on the decline, like... I don't know. Like, Panic the Disco and Fall Out Boy, like, they hit their first couple albums, and then everyone else was like, oh, okay, well, I'm tired of this. And then there's, like, Reliant K and Don't Say Anything, and then it just went, like, back into, like, Jimmy Eat World kind of... I don't know mm. what genre Jimmy Eat World is, but what I find funny is that people find My Chemical Romance, like, younger. the younger generation has, like, stumbled upon, like, they are a good band. They're a good band. But uh, they're like, you know, MCR... I'm like, what? Because I get <laughs> confused when I hear CR. I think of the clear water, you know, whatever. The <laughs> down on the bow, you. So when I right, hear, right. yeah, it just, yeah. Okay. Uh, Someone's probably screaming at me in the podcast. It's this. It's fucking this. And I just, I like, can't remember. And uh, I remember obviously, I don't say. care enough. Yeah, I remember what I was going to say. In Grandma's Kisses, he's running and crying. Just like I Papa will Roach. say I'm the saddest I've been. Back then, I was a happy kid. I don't know why I wanted to be emo. <laughs> but you do. You want to look out the window and watch the rain fall down on the window. <laughs> Just fucking... Dude, whatever. I'm, I'm way more damaged than you. Totally. No, no, you're right. Mom and Dad well, didn't know, buy me a car. <laughs> yeah. um, when it comes down to it, I'd say if anyone deserves to come back from the dead, it'd probably be Goth, and that would be pretty Goth of them. Oh, Goth is, the has definitely come back. Yeah, I know. I would say but emo emo should stay dead. Nah, it's definitely back. <laughs> Listen to Dude, was, like Machine Gun Kelly. It's just like alternative emo now. Yeah, I was, um, 
I was in a town, I guess earlier this summer, and they had a club called Emos. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't know if this is a total coincidence or not. I was driving by, and a few blocks down the road, there was like a very stereotypical emo couple walking on the side of the road. It was amazing. I was, I was so amazed. amazed. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's red. Apparently, emo stuck around a little bit longer uh, here down south than it did elsewhere. Yeah? I guess it's kind of like how they're still doing uh, disco in Europe, you know? Like, oh, yeah, like disco tech kind of like running through the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't say that because we're not in Europe, though. Well, yeah. No, but I'm saying it's like the stereotype of other countries being behind a little bit. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, are they just different in their, I guess, their trends, but I see what you mean. Especially, yeah. like, where Epic Sax Guy came from. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's... Dang. Didn't uh, Will Ferrell just come out with a movie called Eurovision? About that type of music? I really should have kind of been, like, under a rock. I heard it was shit. Um, Not surprised. Yeah. So it's interesting because like a lot of YouTubers and stuff, I guess they're around my age because they've been doing a lot of like emo revival stuff. Hmm. What was um, the big thing with skinny jeans? Skinny jeans are still around, but they're definitely like super high waisted. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, don't um, forget don't forget about the black and white checkered shoes and belts. Yeah, the vans and stuff and the belts. Hot Topic was like the place to go. It was the place to go. It's still UFO pants. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, shit was crazy. So emo shit, dude. I mean, I feel like I do more emo shit now than I did when I was younger. No, it's true. You know, you catch me. Catch me after that tequila, and I'm so emo, I could make the crow fucking kill himself. <laughs> the crow. Yeah, no, it's interesting. <laughs> it can't rain all the time. So one thing I did, and maybe I'm just someone who's addicted to bullshit, but I remember going through a phase in high school where I would listen to a CD over and over and over and over, just like endlessly, even when I went to sleep. And just recently, I've picked back up doing <laughs> that. Oh, no. But I you, uh, don't hate it. <laughs> you listen to your personal music while you sleep, like little little Mr. Shinji from Evangelion. You know? Ooh, talk about emo. <laughs> yeah, Congratulations. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, no, recently for me, like, I'm like, dang, this song makes me so sad. And then I'll just listen to it while I go to bed. <laughs> I wow. wake up, I'm like, man, I'm in such a bad mood. And I'm like, why? Weird. Wow. I wish I could figure it out. Nice. It's almost like your bad feels are like a loose tooth. It hurts, but you can't quit fucking Yeah. Oh, my God. That made my jaw all weird. Like, my mouth was like, yush. Give me a yeah. stupid. <laughs> yes, you yearn for that feeling. <laughs> I guess that's why suffering. I get tattoos. Yeah, I guess that's why I get tattoos. Yeah, Ooh. dude, you gotta die a little if you want to live. Ooh. Um, no, that was emo. You remember the MySpace know. movie? They did the emo cowboys. Oh my gosh, the MySpace oh, movie was so good. <laughs> I'm sure that still exists on YouTube somewhere. I wonder where those people are now. For real. That would be such a good thing to do, like a where are they now? Where are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so so sorry. I cannot sleep. Um, God, I really uh, wish I could get Randy. Aliens are real. Um, I wish I could get Randy Newman to uh, remake all of those songs. I would kill myself. I can't stand yeah, listening to Randy Newman. Yeah, I that's, just... That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Fucking... Basically, what I'm saying is, like, in a roundabout way, I wish you would kill yourself. <laughs> when I was a young boy, my father 
took me into the city <laughs> to the a martin oh i'm God. gonna make damn sure that you can't ever leave cause it's <laughs> randy newman <laughs> um what's up we're going with down down around it wouldn't change that that bit wouldn't change randy newman would yeah, it's like Sugar, we're saying. going down swinging. Have a little one with the bullet. I know you got complex. Cock it and pull it. <laughs> you dumb bitch. And Randy Newman would water it down and kill it so quickly. It's like whenever, it's like whenever a dad, any dad, just tries to get into something, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Remember? <laughs> oh my god, do you remember? Our dad used to call emo emu. Emu. To this day, I don't understand if it was like the ultimate dad joke, right? right. Like, like to, the, to make us hate it. Oh, definitely. Or if it was like, yeah, just not caring or whatever. But like, it was amazing. Emu. <laughs> All, I could All I could picture. picture was a very large blue bird with uh, the black hair over one eye. <laughs> I tell my friends I bleed black and cry during classes. <clears throat> yes. It's all good shit, dog. Hell yeah. Like <sighs> you know, Tyler, when I was a young boy, my father <laughs> took me into Stop. the city no! to no! see a martyr man. <laughs> When I was a young boy, my father <laughs> took me into the city. Um, oh that God. was big. So big during that time too. In high school, peeps were cutting. Yeah, dude. They were using safety pins and shit, just like you know, stabbing and cutting. Those bracelets. The safety pin ones. The no, the um, the little plastic ones, and you rip them off and. You take yeah, them off like and wrap them across your knuckles, and you get into a fucking. Wh what the fuck did you just say about myself? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Don't want me. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna play this recording this, back, dog. This little, <laughs> this little colorful uh, plastic bracelets people wore. Apparently, if you ran up. Oh, and they were like the off. jelly ones, and you had to like sex yeah. with people or something. Oh, and then yeah. people thought they were cool, and they took the two ones and they put them together to make one. Yeah. It really my, uh, was just practice for fisting. Yeah, my my gym teacher used to rip mine off all the time. That's gross. Then, you I'm totally missed my bit about fisting. <laughs> you were I too did. excited to tell us about your trauma with the gym teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought the fisting stood on its own two feet. It was beautiful. And it's true. That's the thing. Like, well, so that was the thing. You put the two together, right? Yeah. And yeah. you're like, okay, now I have to get on my wrist, but it makes it smaller. Yeah. So you're like... <laughs> That's true. Man. Trying to... And then you know you gotta get it past your little uh, your little cutting scars. Yeah, but you know down the road for results and then across the street. <laughs> across guys, the street guys, guys, in no way am I promoting fucking cutting yourself. Please don't do it. We love you. Stay on this planet so I can sing uh, emo songs to you. Yeah, I guess she speaks for both of us. Um. <laughs> you guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Oh, what was know. another yeah. band that came out of that, like, Plain White Tees? Hey there, Delilah. With us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that may not even be emo. It's just from that era. Right, so yeah. if anyone is, like, foaming at the mouth, like, ready to tell me that I'm wrong about whatever is emo and is not, that's fine. Just send an email to socialist69420 at gmail.com. Oh, cool. And we yeah. will read your salty Thanks ass you email, you little bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> you little bitch. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I guess, like, what's the worst that I could say? Ooh. <laughs> things are, uh... Better off this better. way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, good, good night! night. Uh, you know, uh, like we have to know. end the podcast in that. Um, yeah, I was, I was, I was hoping to do that. Yeah, I remember dashboard confessionals. They may not be like emo or like screamo, but they're definitely um, like hella emotional, oh, yeah. right? 
vindicated. Uh, I about, am um, selfish. I run. Huh? What about like what was it called? Like Atreyu or something? Atreyu. Yeah. yeah. They were more like screaming stuff. They do a lot of like one of their more famous songs was X's and O's, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Oh my god. You know. You know. Thems was M O. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm not okay. Yeah, Green, that, Green that Day song. fed into that too, though. Yeah. They went from like 90s punk to the like, yeah, dog, we're emo. Yeah. They went from 90s punk to I walk and I'm lonely and I'm <laughs> <laughs> The black shirt and the red tie, baby. Everybody yeah. does it. Yeah, dude. That's when, like, every person's colors, favorite colors were black and red. All the band t-shirts was a black t-shirt, red lettering, and some weird oversaturated black and white picture of the band looking yeah. all soulless and fucking sad and the fucking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But instead of using, like, metal fonts, they used, like, kung fu movie fonts. Remember? <laughs> I was like, guys... <laughs> oh definitely it was the uh... yeah one band that i found that was like relatively emo was that oh what the fuck is that band they played with mastodon last year or two years ago mm. uh coheed yes. and cambria their most oh, famous yeah. song was like good eye sniper but Ouch. like they have another song that's just like pretty much metal and i'm like i'm confused <laughs> I yeah. don't know what's going on. That was a big thing for our whole generation was for our favorite artists to be like really bipolar. Like yeah, one song I mean, like, yeah, I'm gonna crush and kill destroy, and then the next song's like, I'm curled up in a ball in the shower. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I definitely think, like, I definitely respect artists for like changing up, right? Like doing their thing. You you gotta experiment, and if you got a bunch of money, you might as well fucking experiment because money is basically freedom in this fucking place. Yeah. I mean, so, honestly, I've done my share of experimenting back in those days. Yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I think about that. Nice. That was weak. It was. I I didn't know if I should burp on the podcast or not. But guess what? Do, I'm going to do like, my damnedest to not have to edit this cast. Just burp harder. I couldn't because food was totally... going to come with it. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That is devotion. That's worth it. I'm not Don't ready to vote that yet. Don't come in here with these weak burps. Come in here and throw up. Throw up right now. That, that's no. good entertainment. First Remember, things, we Okay, okay, okay. First things first, I'm emo. Yeah. <laughs> We grew up watching people puke on YouTube. It's Yeah, so that weird. shit's nasty, dog. <laughs> I I think what's his name? He's a YouTuber. His name is Max Mofo for the longest time. When I saw one of his first videos, the way his hair was and everything, I was like, "Dang, emo is still here. Let's go." Uh, I don't jump around when I go to shows. <laughs> I must be emo. That was such a that was huge in middle school, and I loved it because if you were in middle school during those days, if you got hurt, you were emo. Like I remember, I cut the tip of my thumb off with a box cutter, and On purpose? I wear this. No, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fucking emo That's son of a bitch. Everyone would see me with this big, huge bandage on my uh, thumb. Big, huge, white bandage and gauze and stuff. And they'd be like, um, are you emo? <laughs> You're like, like, I didn't know yeah. this was my wrist, you dumb bitch. Seriously, I was like, you guys are in <laughs> uh. Oh, my God. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> Are you ready to get in to the newest, slightly convenient, and totally overpriced nutrition bandwagon? Hi, I'm some vague healthy guy with lots of time to work out. You have no clue who I am, but I also wrote and sold a book you didn't know existed, but trust me, it was a bestseller. I'm so good at working out, I have worked out with all the healthy people for money. 
Working out all day is easy, but eating the food, that's hard, and it takes too much thought. Now, in the olden days, they used to freeze meals, but that was too crunchy. Later, some witches and wizards started delivering groceries to your front door. <laughs> More like groceries. You can't even eat the chicken like that. And they were only making 30 to 40% extra profits. That's no way to be. Now, if you want to get into the greatest shape of your life, you fat piece of shit, listen up. Because where are you now? People sent you small boxes with groceries in them and they gave you pictures to show you how to cook the food yourself? Who the fuck did they think they were? My sweet precious darling, for too long in this age of newfangled pre-prep meals, you have had to suffer waiting for your weekly meal plans to arrive just to microwave them and chew them with your own mouth? But what about the game? Or your shows or the other stuff you would probably do instead of working out or making your food. Well, that ends today. I have a revolutionary new product. Sust. Sust. I couldn't stand by and watch you pass up achieving your maximum performance any longer. So at my company, I've been handpicking all the foods and metabolic fuel to boost your game and having my team of professional chewers chew your food for you. You don't even have to swallow because our patented feedifiers are charged with enough compressed air to send the food directly to your stomach for maximum efficiency. The speed of the food is the secret to its healthiness. The body knows if you eat fast, it needs to make the food into muscle immediately. Here's one of my clients. I think sus is food, and I feel... Okay, shut the fuck up. So there you have it. Stop being a disgusting fat piece of shit and get sus. Sus. Act now, and we will cut away 71.3% off your first week of sus. Sus. So you'll get it for just $7,000. And not only that, I'll throw in some pictures of how to do basic workouts that you will avoid doing for free, and also... I'll throw in our pre-digested sussed brown edition processed through our cutting edge process. Sustenance hydration ingested, total digestion, or shitted for an additional <coughs> everything you have. <clears throat> uh, guys, I want you to be in the best shape of your life. I love you and care about you. So quit being a subhuman fat toxic waste of life and try sussed. Sussed. Sust, if you want to have the biggest PP in town, order today. It's the Mar and Tar Show. <laughs> so let's see, My Chemical Romance, Panic at the Disco. Uh, several moments to Venus. No, wait. Uh, oh, no, let's not, get, let's not get on that train. I don't want to <laughs> talk about that dude. The fuck is his name again? Him. It's um he fucked up the Joker. What the fuck is it? Yeah, Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. Jared Leto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thirty seconds to Mars. Don't oh. break me down. That was a mistake. Bury me, bury me. <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> uh -huh. no. Uh, he has a sex cult now. Yes, he does. Ooh. I think we spoke about it in the first season, actually. Uh, we did, yes. You know what? You know what? Life is like a box of chocolates. Dark yeah. chocolates. Ooh. I'm with the emo. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Am I supposed to wear these pants? There's no holes in them. <laughs> um... If your skinny jeans aren't your sisters, or if you haven't twisted a nut wearing skinny jeans so tight. Oh but the God. thing about it was wearing skinny jeans, but still wearing them off your butt to show your yes. dark green and black striped boxers and your yeah, cute and little hoodie and your stupid little studded belt. Yeah, yeah. And then at least at least two belts. Oh, sometimes, yeah. There were two belts. Yeah. Bunch of belts framed in this poor belt. Zip up hoodies were the thing, and the sleeves yeah. are all stretched out. They normally smell like fucking oh, ass. Shit. 
Duct tape. Ooh, baby. Duct tape everywhere. Duct book, bags, tape. book bags made out of duct tape. Prom dresses made out of duct tape. Whenever some Seriously. someone did that, I was like, wow, good for you. You probably just took a dress and then literally covered it in duct tape. Yeah, dude. You know, that's the thing. Journey person, trade workers, mm. paved the way for emo people because it was all about duct tape and sharpies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's like a spawn, like on a serious note, I think it's a spawning from punk, right? Because punk back in the day was like, we play music, it's bad, it's loud, but it's ours. We're making it, we're not owned, we make our own clothes kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, so, pizza rules. Yeah, I'm not a part of your fucking corporate bullshit. Slap the booze. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm emo, and this next next song is about sucking dick for cocaine and. <laughs> Sorry, there's there's so many songs in on these albums and stuff where you're like, oh, okay, on the surface, and then you listen a little bit more, and you're like, <laughs> prostitution and cocaine. Woo. Uh, wow. Hey, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on those uh, punk ass? Stars on Broadway, bitches. You think they were emo? Who on Broadway? Scars on Broadway. Ah, I don't... If I listened to them, I didn't know, because that was back in the day where we were all ripping music off of everybody's mixed CDs, and you didn't get the names. I'm not sure how old they are, but man, they were fucking garbage, dude. I'll fight them. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. The fucking... I'll all fight them. Right, yeah. Scars on Broadway? Yeah, let's go. Scars on Broadway. If you're listening... Yeah. Let's do it. Let's fight. I'll fight you. Let's like rumble though, like in the fifties, like with, with bats and stuff. Ooh, I gotta cut my hair to be pompadour, dude. Hell yeah! And replace my switchblade comb. With I've already a got a mullet. Blade. Ooh. <laughs> um. Hey, we'll line up to fight, and then I'll just hit him with my car. Right? Nineteen fifties. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's how yeah, we yeah. do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot Even of people though... <laughs> did die because of cars. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, being emo. So, okay, let's see if we can come up with the most emo sentence that's not a song lyric. Mm. I think, okay, I'm trying not to think of that song. I must be emo. <laughs> I don't. Oh, oh my God, there's a fucking bug on my wall. What? Kill oh, okay, it. I killed it. <laughs> oh my god, let's go get tacos. Okay, so we should we should do we should do two. Um, that was great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, goddamn it. Um, we should we should do different um categories, like who can make the shortest and most emo sense. Oh, then, I just go. Yeah. <laughs> I just go raw XD. Yeah, raw XD. <laughs> Uh, no, fucking no. up the word love. I love you. Oh, yeah, that was great. Um, I'm only wow. wearing black until they invent something darker. <laughs> I'm scared of normal people. When your eyeliner is the same color of your soul. <laughs> oh, God. Um, ooh, Taking Back Sunday. That's another emo band, my dude. Nice. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Mm. I'm trying to I think of other good quotes. Yeah. Hold on a second here. What the hell? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Thought I saw another crazy person trying to break into my car. Listen, you guys were about to hear. A I was so emo that I permanently couldn't see out of my left eye because my hair was always hanging over it. And then oh, no. when fucking Kingdom Hearts came out with Yutana Hikaru's super emotional opening, when you walk away, I was just like, oh my god, all my feels. <laughs> I'm gonna go lay out in the yard with my hair in my face and just fucking. Would you say that there were emo elements to um, Youth of the Nation? I know it's a little older, but... Yeah, P.O.D., definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. We are, we are. Okay, so no, let's go with this. Okay. We can find emo elements in almost everything. Think of uh, Revenge of the Sith. 
That whole movie was emo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boy. <laughs> From my point of view, the mm. Jedi are evil. Mm. <laughs> Even though I must say the the good Jedi just seem like a bunch of paragon dorks, and I yeah, would just they... be like, you get fucked. Um, Ew, a was lady. Point, yeah. There was a point where the Jedi started to be too good and it got toxic and the Sith <laughs> got to be too bad and they got weak because it was like we're so bad there could only be two of us. It was like alright that makes sense. Oh okay totally yeah. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Um, yeah so there's a lot of emo stuff. I Dude, mean there's so god there's animes, video games, yeah. Ooh, movies. Um, here we go. Helsing, Death Note, Again. Remember, the best part is when they bring in the comics. Because they sit there in the cafeteria and, and, they, and they read the scary paper from Japan. And they're oh. like, Guru Gamesh. And then you're like... That was big oh, too. God. Yeah, J-Rock. J-Rock yeah. was big. Um, D- Dian Gray, Diru. Um, uh, who are the people? MCC. Is it MUCC? MUCC, yeah. MUCC and a couple other bands, yeah. Apocalyptica. They're like uh, classic dude. music, but rock, baby. Yeah, dude, this guy's 45 and he's wearing eyeliner. But you know what? He goes and like banks a bunch of groupies backstage and literally doesn't have to do a 9 to 5. So I guess joke's on us. Yep, that's If true. I could cash in, I fucking would. <laughs> I still, I still, I like, I like Apocalyptica. I just can't listen to their collabs with other musicians where they're, they sing the whiny stuff. Yeah, they're not very good live. Uh, no, at least I the bet, stage I saw them at because it was built for like a rock show, and yeah, uh, which is basically just flat because they blast it with piss, right? Blast it with piss. You know that was around the same time that yeah. um, lolcats were a big thing. Oh, yeah, I, I can, I can has I can has cheeseburger because I remember the a Church lot of emo of kids. Yeah, a lot of the um, those kids would quote that. I quoted it. I thought I can yeah, have cheeseburger dot com was like the f- fucking coolest place to go to fucking look at shit. Oh, and homestarrunner dot com maybe it was like a little, it was like a precursor to. Yeah, it definitely was like good humor that rubbed off on people, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, it was um, very influential right the before system the is down. The system yeah. is down. <laughs> um, <laughs> who were the people who did Badger, 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 Mushroom, Mushroom? Oh, God. Yeah, they did You Are a Pirate. Yeah. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You oh, are a pirate. Bebo pirates. Um, okay. Weeble and Bob. Uh, internet humor was big because YouTube had like just become a thing. And that's where you oh, have yeah. like all like the ranting people like leave Brittany alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you have the mother of all emo, the mothership, MySpace. Oh baby, I turned my page black, and now I've got t- um, too close by taking back Sunday. Oh no, damn sure by taking back Sunday, playing mm-hmm. on my on my whatever. And then you've got some sort of lyric under your picture, dude. Put me in your top eight, you bitch. <laughs> Fucking, you, you hurt my feelings when I wasn't in your top eight anymore. Yeah, D is for dinosaur. Fucking, D I put is for dinosaur. I put safety pins in my eyelids just to feel something. <laughs> there were the people that put the eyeliner on, but also like the pink eyeshadow near their eyes, kind of like Gerard Way did from My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Did you ever run across the kids that would like cut themselves with a box cutter and then like write with a sharpie in the cut? <laughs> no, we didn't have those. We did have a lot of ODs though. Hell yeah, that's probably cooler than the marker kids, I guess. <laughs> and one, one was a uh, investment. And one was a commitment. Yeah, definitely. So you know what we forgot to mention? What's up? Think about it. Draven you... the Dark. What? Draven the Dark Raven? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget Draven. <laughs> Kids, do your homework. <clears throat> no. Fucking 
Nightmare Before Motherfucking Christmas. Oh, yeah. Anything Tim Burton for that matter. Sorry. Yeah, Coraline. Yeah, no, I know a lot of listeners that really like those movies, so I'm going to apologize, well, but I did I not like Corpse Bride. Um, <laughs> I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed all those movies, to be honest. I like it, but, but it, the, Nightmare Before Christmas was definitely shoved down our throats. Like, it was yeah. everywhere. Yeah. I mean, Jack the Skeleton King is fucking cool, or Pumpkin King, whatever yeah. the fuck they call it. Honestly, I love the Ogie Boogie Man. That's He's cool. Me, I like his basically. voice. I'm, I'm basically the but movie. man, fact, if if you were emo and you hadn't seen that movie, you were a fucking poser, yeah. poser right. dude. That was the yeah. big word. Yeah. Fucking oh yeah, poser. that was the gatekeeping. Yeah, you know, it's weird. I know emos that hadn't heard of Invader. Invader Zim, that's a big one. I mean, Gur, come on, Gur was the mascot. Uh, yeah, he was. But he was, merch for him was hard to find because that one kid killed somebody or something and they blamed it on Invader Zim, so that pretty much killed everything. Yeah, I love how we have to blame something that hasn't existed for millennia, even though we've been murdering each other for millennia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you read Lord of the Flies, it's something we read in high school, which is just as yeah. violent as anything else. It's worse than Invader Zim, that's right. not our fault people can be impressionable. That doesn't mean if you get rid of it, they're not going to do whatever, but whatever. Right. Didn't catch her in the rhyme, like, hypnotize the dude and make him murder someone. Yeah, and I'm always... saying, we still read that shit. Always. You know, after it hypnotized me, well, if you listen I was to so a lot of a lot of shit. I was so disappointed when uh-huh. I found out he was already dead. <laughs> Ayo. Because then I was like, am I hitting hypnotized state i didn't have anyone to you had me in a hypnosis state and i told you not to do that um (laughs) yeah so uh what was i saying as i was interrupting you i'm sorry yeah i don't know i couldn't i couldn't hear what you were saying shit (sighs) i think it was oh shakespeare plays they're just as violent and emo as anything else. Maybe it's just oh, yeah. like humanity always has like the emo ness. Because if you Shit. think about it, it didn't go anywhere. It just went to our meat. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry. It, it sounded like you muted for a second. I uh, didn't. So here's a topic for debate. And I hope to see a bloodbath about this on our social media. Where are they going to do it? We gotta post that um, question then. Yeah, yeah, we'll post. It. Um, who thinks that Nine Inch Nails was more emo than it was gothic? Ooh, Ooh baby. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm leaning more towards industrial goth. Yeah, I think so too. I just want to see if anyone wants to troll anyone about it. This would be perfect bait. It's true. Um, yeah, fuck. Fucking troll on wall. Little, little. Again, why you know. <laughs> why you those always lie in. Those old memes, dude. Why you fucking lie in. <laughs> Why you freaking tiger? Um. So we have a couple minutes left. Yes, we do. And you know what we should do with those minutes? What? Uh, um. <laughs> basically, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say all the bad words, all of them, all yes. bad words. Yes. I'm gonna say the whole thing. Di- <laughs> the Wait. whole dictionary. Ooh. <laughs> Dick. Dick. <laughs> um, yeah. Dictionary. So, I don't know. I feel like when you're going through that age, it's just bound to happen. Yeah. Whether Whether it's grunge or some sort of, like, emotional rap or yeah. punk or something. Yeah. 
being a teen, you just kind of like feel like you're striking out, but you're really you're like I don't belong anywhere. And then you change, and then everyone's doing the same thing, so you belong in the same thing. <laughs> right. It, yeah. it was like being a part of the theater troupe. I got in trouble a lot because. At one point, they were like, oh, we're going to wear black on Valentine's Day or some shit. And I was like, nope, don't tell me what to do. And they were all like, how dare you? People make fun of us because we don't fit in. And then, you know, someone <laughs> is trying to attack my motherfucking computer. My computer's going off like, yo, you're going to die. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. But yeah, so it's interesting because like, you single yourself out because you're like, I'm not like everyone else. And then you instantly try to build your own group so you can shun people from yeah. not doing what your group does. It's very interesting. Exactly. And I feel like that doesn't go anywhere. We're literally all just a bunch of children trying to snatch at control and power wherever we can. Yeah, an outlet for our angst. Uh, something to test our venom on. Yeah, two lunch tables full of yeah. people all dressed the same. Yep. And they're all totally unique and they don't fit in. Hope dangles on a string, like uh, slow spinning redemption, yeah. winding in, winding out. The thought of <laughs> it has caught my oh, the shine of it has caught my eye. Ugh. I'm gonna kill myself uh, now. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So this was uh, a good episode. This was solid. Yeah. Um, Grab your glass because there's gonna be a blood. A blood. Uh, email us and tell us who's more emo. Mm. So would it be long. Mar or would it be Tar? So long and good night. <laughs> so long and good <laughs> night. <laughs> so long and good night. <laughs> um, People who have spent good. more intimate time with me, they know that when I'm laid up with an injury or if I'm recovering from alcohol, I'm such an edgy emo. Again. No, you're not. Well, actually, yeah, you are. When people are all upset, they're coming to visit you. You're like, oh, stupid bitch. I'm the one who got hurt. You shouldn't be sad. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That is emo, my dude. Yeah, dude. How like, dare yeah. you try to feel my feels? Take them. Yeah. Take them. For real. Take them. Oh. I'm not even allowed to feel bad. I'm just saying, if I had the jacket from yeah. the Black Parade, I wouldn't take it off even during sex. I mean, well, yeah. No jackets fly as fuck. Yeah. Just want to make sure that everybody knows. <laughs> okay. So if you go ahead and give us some results, email us at socialish69420 at gmail.com. Yeah, uh, tell or us just... Who's emo? If you're more emo than us, prove it, you little bitch. Yeah, prove it. You also, if you, just wanna, XD. if you just want to send us pictures of modern contemporary ceiling fans, That'd be cool, too. Yeah. Actually, I would appreciate that more. Because you, um, know also... you know what's emo? Huh? Randomness. Ooh, Spaghetti! <laughs> oh, you're so different and special and wild. Hey, uh, looking back on your emo phase, instead of PTSD, would it be PTXD? all right well hey uh so long and good night yeah dude uh <laughs> okay okay stop cut no we're not doing this Ha ha ha.